Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Herrick District Library here with another baby story time. This story time is designed for those of us who are expecting infants in our lives through about 18 months or so. So a lot of this is going to be very interactive with you and your young child. Um, and as I'll do some um, adaptations for those of us who are a little bit more independent as well. Um, this should only last about 10 minutes. Grown-ups, I know that we really want our babies to be in the mood with us when we want to watch it, but sometimes that's not the case. So um, make sure that if you, if you are going to do this with your baby, that they are in the mood to do this. Uh, we want to make sure that they're having a good time and they're having fun. Otherwise, feel free to hang out with me. My goal is to really teach you these songs and rhymes and that you'll be able to do them throughout your day. So let's get started. Um, I have been really into body awareness songs this session. Um, and one of the reasons I really like this next song or rhyme is that it can highlight some of those more unusual body parts. So we talk a lot about how like body awareness is great because it gives us context for ourselves in space, but also we can learn new vocabulary. Oftentimes songs and rhymes for babies um, sort of center around really common ones, our heads, our shoulders, our knees, our toes, our eyes and our ears and our mouth and our nose. We know that song, right? Um, so I really like this one because we can highlight some more unusual body parts that still introduce us to new vocabulary. So this is a rhyme that I, it was a rhyme and I just decided to put some music to it. So feel free to sing it to however you'd like to. This just happens to be the way that I like to sing it. So here we go. These little fingers go wiggle, 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 wiggle. These little fingers go wiggle, 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 and they're on your eyebrows. So I didn't introdu introduce this very well, but for this one, you can have your baby sitting up and looking at you, but this is a great one for them to be on their back in front of you, on the floor, on the bed, um, on the changing table. A little difficult with all of our wiggling, but you can just sing it. Um, those of us who are a little bit more independent can do the wiggling themselves and they can mirror you as you do it. Um, so you notice we wiggled our eyebrows. Um, the rest of the time I would just go up and down their bodies like sort of threatening to tickle them. That'll be really, really fun. Um, but not actually tickling them until you touch the body part that it is. So let's do that one again. These little fingers go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. These little fingers go wiggle, 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 and they're on your wrist. That's a new word, our wrist. Our wrist connects our hand to our arm. It's the wrist right here. Explaining that, using that language, also will help them get context for it. So let's do it one more time. Let's get our wiggle fingers ready. If you're wiggling along with Miss Erin, here we go. These little fingers go wiggle, 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 wiggle. These little fingers go wiggle, 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 and they're on your shin. Oh, a shin is a new one too. The shin is the outside part of your leg, right? It's part of your leg. It's just below your knee, but it's above your ankle or your foot. So again, this is just a great rhyme to do to help introduce us to some vocabulary that we might not know, give us context for the world around us, and it's a great one where we can expand the knowledge. We don't just want to say, here's our wrist. We can say our wrist is the part that connects our hand to our arm. So um, it's a great one for a whole bunch of different reasons. For our next one, I, I know I've talked about this before, but I just can't stop. Every time I do one that involves food, I'm always like, why do we always talk about food with babies? It's just because they're so cute. We just want to eat them up. I know. Um, this one is called Putting on a Plate. And uh, we're going to start by rocking side to side uh, with our putting on a plate. We're going to wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, wobble, putting on a plate. And then we're going to have candies in a jar. We're going to bounce. And then we're going to have pizza in the air and we're going to toss our pizza in the air. So this one is a lifting song. Um, and if we are a baby who's not into being in the air, some of us aren't into that. Or if we're a caregiver who is like, no, I, I'm not lifting that baby in the air. That's fine. We can lift up their arms too for this one. 
here we go. So we're going to start by rocking back and forth, just like this. Putting on a plate, putting on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, putting on a plate. Our next one is candies. Get ready to bounce. Candies in a jar, candies in a jar. Shake them up, shake them up, candies in a jar. For this one, we're gonna go up in the air and we're gonna put our hands in the air. Here we go. Pizza in the air, pizza in the air. Toss it up, toss it up, pizza in the air. Yay, great job, friends. We're gonna do that one one more time. For those of us who are a little bit older, we can rock back and forth just like Miss Erin, right? And if we're older and we want, when we're candies in a jar and we're shaking up, if you can jump by yourself, go ahead and jump by yourself. And then when it gets to pizza in the air, you're gonna crouch down and jump up in the air, okay? We're gonna do that one again, only Miss Erin is gonna do it as if she has a baby in her lap. So for you big kids, make sure you do it that other way, right? We're gonna rock back and forth first. And then when it's candies in a jar and I'm bouncing, you're gonna jump up and down. And then when it's pizza in the air, you're gonna crouch down and you're gonna jump as high as you can in the air. Here we go. Putting on a plate, putting on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, putting on a plate. This one we're gonna bounce, or if you're a big kid, you're gonna jump. Candies in a jar, candies in a jar. Shake them up, shake them up, candies in a jar. And our last one, do you remember what it was? Pizza in the air, here we go. Pizza in the air, pizza in the air. Toss it up, toss it up, pizza in the air. Good job, friends. That one is just so fun. Um, we're gonna do another lifting song. Sorry, grownups, but you're getting your arm workout in. Um, this is uh, one of our favorites that we do in baby story time. Um, this is another one where for a big kid, we are going to sway back and forth, but we're going to be cuckoo clocks, which means that when we go cuckoo, you're going to crouch down and when um, you're going to jump in the air as many times as Miss Erin says, okay? We're going to do this one three times, um, and it's just called TikTok. And again, you have baby on your lap, and we'd be swaying back and forth. And then as the time goes up, it's going to be 1 o'clock, it's going to be 2 o'clock, and then it's going to be 3 o'clock. We'll go up in the air as many times as um, we say. Here we go. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now the time is 1 o'clock. <gasps> cuckoo. Did you jump in the air if you're big enough? Otherwise, we're gonna lift our babies up. Now, after one comes two. Here we go. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo times in the air. Let's do it one more time and that makes one, two, three times. Here we go. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Cuckoo. Super fun one. Super fun. Um, this one, it's best if they are facing you. They, they're going to want to see your face when they go up in the air, and you're going to be excited to see them. Um, again, if we are not going to be able to lift up, that's okay. We're gonna, we can lift our arms up for each one of those. Honestly, this is a great one for that sing-songy parentese voice, which a lot of us naturally do when we see babies. Um, and one of the reasons it's really cool that we do that is that it helps them actually hear us even better. So the TikTok song or rhyme is a great one to do to get that parentese tone in. So I think that's everything for today. Thanks so much for joining us, friends. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.